If you're a guest with us this morning, if you're new, we just want to let you know that we love you and we're, we're, we're thankful that you're here with us today. We're going to take a break from our scheduled programming, our normal scheduled programming, because we want to, uh, uh, here a second, we always want to uh, honor accomplishments of the people within our body and, and uh, the people here. And today, we're going to honor some, some of our students, not only high school students, but also university students. Um, and, and honor them for their accomplishments and they'll be graduating here soon. Some have already graduated. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. So guys, when you come up here, if you call your name, just go to Elizabeth, get your gift, and then you'll just come right over here and it's the first one to stand uh, right over here. So without, without further ado, here we go. First up we have Emma Beard. She's the daughter of John and Laura Beard. She'll be graduating from Anderson County High School. She's a member of NJROTC, NHS, FHS, FCA, SGA. She enjoys tap dance. She was a AC Valley Victorian. She's a part of the AC 30 plus club, AP scholar with distinction, graduate with honors, graduate with distinction. She's going to pursue a degree at Middle Tennessee State University and travel abroad. And her favorite verse is Romans 8, 38 and 39. Emma Beard. Next we have Spencer Bird. He is the son of Roger and Ruth Ann Bird. He's a graduate of Clinton High School. He enjoys playing baseball and watching movies. He will be graduating with honors. He plans to attend Berea College, studying civil engineering and playing college baseball. And his favorite Bible verse is Isaiah 40, 31. <laughs> Next up we have Matthew Calhoun. He is the son of Kelly and Tanya Calhoun. He'll be graduating Anderson County High School. He enjoyed football, SGA, president of ASAP, president of Inter, Inter Club Council, uh, National Honor Society member, French Honor Society, youth leadership of Anderson County. He's a huddle leader for FCA and Moo Crew. He'll be graduating with honors and distinction in football letterman in two years, um, and he's an ETSU Dean Scholar. He, he's attending ETSU to major in biology and plans to attend medical school, and his favorite verse is Psalm 1, verse 3. <laughs> Next we have Kay Kaylee Castleberry. She is the daughter of Ken and Christy Castleberry. She'll be, uh, she's graduating from Anderson County High School. She enjoys volleyball, basketball, track, SGA, Leo Club, and Spanish Club. She's a provost academic scholarship at ETSU. She plans to attend ETSU in the fall, majoring in pre-med and a minor in Spanish, and her favorite verse is Romans 8, 28. <laughs> Next up, we have Ethan Comer. He is the son of Bill and Melissa Comer. He's graduating from Anderson County High School. He participated in golf, NJROTC, and FCA, and he's part of the National Honor Society of high school scholars, and he's graduating from golf and ROTC with a scholarship to Georgia Military College. He, he's playing golf at Georgia Military College and then graduate with associate's degree in cybersecurity, and he'll be, uh, at that point, he'll be commissioned as a second lieutenant in the Army. Then he plans to go to Tennessee Tech to play golf for two more years and major in cybersecurity and a minor in divinity. His favorite verse is John 3, 7, 13, 7. Next up, we have Jordan Comer. She is the daughter of Bill and Missy Comer. She is a graduate of Anderson County High School. She played golf there. She is a member of National Society of High School Scholars and Christian Leadership Scholarship for the Cumberlands. Uh, she'll be attending the University of Cumberland to play golf on scholarship and to get her undergraduate in pre-physical therapy and exercise science, and they'll get, then uh, attend to get a doctorate in physical therapy. And her favorite verse is 1 Peter 5, 7. Next up, we have Amanda Jacobs. She is the daughter of Ben and Michelle Jacobs. She is graduating from Clinton High School. She is a member of 4-H, FFA, National Honor Society. She enjoys horseback riding and showing. She is a FFA Green Hand and Chapter Award of 2017 and 18, Clinton FFA Treasurer, uh, Anderson County Career and Te Technical Ag Student of the Year, FFA State Degree in 2018 and 19, Clinton FFA President. 
She plans to study business management at Rhone State and finish at the University of Tennessee. And her favorite verse is Isaiah 40:29. Next up, we have Garrett Johnson. He is the son of Sherry and John Ottinger. <laughs> He'll be graduating Anderson County High School. Yeah, he enjoyed the mar our marching band and uh, aggra aggravating his sisters. Uh, <laughs> he's a member of National Honor Society, French Honor Society, graduating with honors and distinction. He's attending East Tennessee State University in the fall. And his favorite Bible verse is Ecclesiastes 12:14. Next up, Ethan McAnally. He's the son of Greg and Rhonda McAnally. He's graduating Anderson County High School. FFA four-year member and officer, served as a reporter and vice president, uh, National Wildlife and Turkey Federation, state ENR, poultry winner, and state FFA degree. He is, his future plans are to attend Pella City State Electrical Engineering and work at CUB, and his favorite verse is Isaiah 41.10. Next up, we have Ethan Powers. He is the son of Richard and Melinda Powers. He's graduating from Anderson County High School. He played football, basketball. He worked out a lot and listened to music. And his uh, honors are National Honor Society, Anderson County Youth Leadership, AP Scholar, graduating with honors and distinction. He plans to attend Tennessee Tech in the fall and study electrical engineering. And his favorite verse is Proverbs 16.3. Next up, we have Noah Price. He is the son of Eddie and Kim Price. He is graduating from Clinton High School, played baseball and basketball, and enjoys playing video games with friends. He'll graduate with honors, and he's a part of the National Honor Society. He, his future plans are to attend Roan State in the fall, and his favorite verse is 1 Timothy 4.12. Next up, we have Marissa Sewell. She is the daughter of Margaret Spears. She's gradua graduating from Anderson County High School. She is a member of NHS, Leo Club, and Spanish Club. Anderson County Youth Leadership, graduating with distinction, vice president of the Spanish Club, and she's attending Tennessee Tech University in the fall to study human ecology, housing, and design. And her favorite verse is 1 Corinthians 13.2. Next up, we have Gracie Webb. She is the daughter of Craig and Tammy Webb. She's graduating from Anderson County High School. She enjoys volleyball, softball, cross country, Spanish club, youth leadership. Uh, she's been in dual enrollment, and she's part of the Spanish Honor Society. She plans to attend University of the Cumberlands this fall and will be playing volleyball and softball. Her favorite Bible verse is 1 Corinthians 10:31. Next, we have Zach Weber. He's the son of Kevin and Nicole Weber. He's graduating from Anderson County High School. He enjoys baseball, football, and cheer. He enjoys young life as well. He's graduating with honors. He's attending Johnson University to play baseball and study business, and his favorite verse is Mark 14, 36. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, we have Caleb Williford. He is the son of Bill and Melissa Williford. He's a graduate of Anderson County High School. He's on the high school golf team for four years. Placed fourth in the district in the golf tournament. Went to regional tournament as an individual player. He's a member of the Elite 100, which recognizes college readiness. He plans to attend Rome State, majoring in business. Plans to transfer to Tennessee Tech University in two years. And his favorite Bible verse is Romans 5.8. Nick's going to uh, speak about university graduates. Yeah, we have several from our college and young adult ministry who have graduated as well. Um, I want to tell you about a few who couldn't be here today. They're either still out of town or um, away, still at school. So, uh, Caitlin Couples, the daughter of Mitch and Karen Couples, graduated from ETSU with a master's in clinical nutrition. Uh, Kristen Couples, 
Also, Mitch and Karen's daughter graduated from King University with a Bachelor of Exercise Science. Haley Hatmaker Fletcher, uh, daughter of Carrie and Candy Hatmaker, graduated from Liberty University with a Bachelor of Science in Elementary Education. Hayden Martin, uh, son of John and Melissa Martin, graduated from Alice Lloyd College with a bachelor's degree in business administration. Lauren Weaver, daughter of Joey and Leslie Weaver, graduated from Tennessee School of Therapeutic Massage. So those are the ones who couldn't be here today, but give them a, give them a hand. <laughs> All right, so we have, uh, we have some that are here with us today. Uh, first is Rachel Farmer. She is the daughter of Greg and Tammy Farmer. She graduated from King University with a Bachelor of Arts in Business Management. She played softball all four years she was at school. She was a player, uh, player of the week at King. Uh, she was part of the Republican Club, member of SAAC, the Student Athlete Advisory Committee. Her favorite Bible verse is 1 Peter 5, 7, and she plans to attend beauty school uh, in the fall. Next we have Logan Miller. He is the son of Ronnie and Wendy Miller. He graduated from Carson Newman with a Bachelor's of Science in Nursing. Uh, he, he played football at Carson Newman. Uh, he helped lead in the young adult and college ministry at the church he attended while he was there. He loves to play guitar. Uh, his favorite Bible verse is James 1, 2 through 4. Uh, and he has, uh, he has accepted a job at the Heart and Lung Transplant Intensive Care Unit at the University of Alabama Birmingham Medical Center. Uh, and he plans on working there until he moves to Honduras to do missions work. <laughs> and we have Richard Lanham Sowell. Uh, Lanham, for, for those of you who know him, I just found out his first name was Richard just now. Um, he is the son of Forrest and Amy Sal and the grandson of Johnny and Ann Patterson. He graduated from the University of Tennessee with a Bachelor's of Science in Business, Marketing, and Management. He played football when he went to UT. Uh, his favorite verse is Psalm 23, 4, and his future plans are to continue to grow his sports performance training business and become a contracted strength coach and nutritionist for professional and college athletes. I'm not going away, Nick. So we have one more as well. His name is Nick Dalton. He is the, uh, he's the husband of Amy and the dad of Katie Ann. He's graduating from Rawlings School of Divinity at Liberty University. His extracurricular activities is his family uh, reading dorky books which I can verify that's true. And uh, his future plans are to talk his wife into allowing him to get a second doctorate and teaching the kids, the college kids, how to be adults. And his favorite Bible verse is question mark. He loves them all. <laughs> Good luck to Nick. <laughs> all right. So let's, let's, all, let's all commit to praying for these students. And I, I had one verse I wanted to share with you just real quick that we hope that you students will just instill this into your life as you move on to the next chapter. It says this in Joshua chapter 1, verse 7, Only be strong and very courageous, being careful to do according to the law that Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it right hand or to the left, that you may have good success wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened. Do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Let's pray. Father God, we love you. We thank you for all that you do for us, Lord. And we thank you for um, this, this, what these students have done. Uh, it's, not, it's not easy to accomplish the things that they've, they've done. And they've all not only did that, but they had all these extracurricular activities that we're doing uh, at the same time. And so, Lord, we pray that you just make their way straight and that you honor their hard work that they put in, whether it was in high school or university or in uh, the, the, the doctorate level. Lord, and uh, we love you. We thank you for all that you do for us, and we thank you for the time that we've got to spend with these students. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Let's stand together as we continue in worship. Fiercest drought and storm, what heights 
and then you can be seen if you're turning your attention to the videos. All right, Keegan, so in your own words, uh, just the best way you know how, tell us the story of your salvation. I went through some times where I was debating switching majors and everything, and I just had a long talk with one of my lecture teachers and my lab instructors, and she just said, don't change your mind, and then I went and I prayed to God about that, and then he seemed to just be with them as well and said just stay on the path and I just decided to start coming to Second Baptist I think it was middle of December and I've been coming ever since and it's really helped to get me motivated and more closer to God over the past five six months. Yeah I grew up in church a little bit um, but then we didn't go as much, and then I met my friends, Ethan and Jordan Comer, and they said, let's go to church. So I decided to come with them every Sunday. And Well, after Easter, I really decided that I wanted to get saved, and I didn't really go up there on Easter Sunday. So I decided to go up there the Sunday after, April 28th, and I went up and talked to Mitch, and we just talked about it and everything, and we went back, and he just prayed with me and said that every time somebody gets saved, the angels are rejoicing and cheering. And he said that we'll always be together from here on out. As he asked me if I prayed the prayer, and I said, yes, I did. And we went a little bit more into detail with that. I really wanted to make that decision because I, at some points, I was doubting myself and with school and everything just getting harder and harder and then I'd just sit there and I'd pray about it and then I felt like I was getting closer to God so I needed to be saved at that point. I feel like there have been some changes, especially on Sunday. I felt a little bit more free and joyful at that time. And then just throughout the week, I had a final on Tuesday and I was studying for that and just praying that I could get the grade that I needed to get for that and I didn't feel as stressed and worried about that test as I did any of the other tests that I took before I got saved. So it sort of relieved the stress from me. Uh, to be saved, it means you have to confess your sins to God and repent from them. And just that I would um, always be there with God and God would always be there with me even through the rough times and the good times, and then I get to share my life with, and my story with everybody. All right, Keegan, we, uh, we heard what you said in the video, but uh, did you give your life to Jesus and ask him to save you? I did. All right. On your profession of faith, I baptize you, my brother in Christ, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, buried in the likeness of his death, and raised to walk in new life.
Oh